हरे कृष्णा कास्ट बाय बर्थ इज द परवर्जन ऑफ कास्ट बाय वर्थ द कास्ट सिस्टम इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिमोनाइज सिस्टम्स ऑफ सोशल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट हैव कम टू अस फ्रॉम द पास्ट एंड इट इज ट्रू दैट द डिमोनाइजेशन इज नॉट जस्ट अ मैटर ऑफ प्रोपेगेंडा देर हैव बीन मेनी terrible form of the discrimination that have been done in the name of the caste system however the important point to recognize is that this current system current caste system by caste by birth is a perversion we have to look at what is taught originally in the scripture and if you look at scripture the bhagavad gita is quite clear varna chatur varnyam maya srishtam गुणकर्म विभागश तस्य कर्तारम अपि माम विद्य कर्तारम अव्ययम सो इन 4.13 इन द भगवत गीता कृष्णा सेज चातुर्वर्णम मया सृष्टम दैट दिस फोर वर्णास मया सृष्टम दैट द सृष्टि ऑफ द फोर वर्णास हैज बीन आउटलाइंड बाय मी एंड गुणकर्म विभागश इट हैज बीन आउटलाइंड आउटलाइंड अकॉर्डिंग टू गुण एंड कर्म अकॉर्डिंग टू Uh, qualities and activity that we could put in today's term term, term as according to <coughs> one's talents and <coughs> one's capability to execute those talents so we could call it character and competence or we could call it <coughs> attitude and aptitude depending on the way we want to phrase it in today's terminology but the principle is it is based on intrinsic worth now a person who has the intrinsic worth to be a to be a teacher to be a intellectual to be a priest that person is expected to do brahmanical duties and a person who has the intrinsic worth to be a a business person that person is given business duties that person is encouraged to do business duties so the point here is that the varna system was according to was according to worth it was not according to birth it was according to uh, now it is according to what one is capable of doing and now significantly it is also to be understood that actually even the uh, every varna has its value it is not that there was discrimination in terms of considering Uh, certain varnas to be worthless there is in the in the uh, purusha sukta itself in the rigveda there is a comparison of the varna ashram with the social body and there in the varnas various varnas are compared with the different parts of the body so for example the shudras are compared with the legs so now this does it indicate that the shudras are unimportant no different parts of the body are meant to perform different functions and the shudras are meant to perform the function of the legs legs are used for moving around general execution of whatever plans we make they are to be executed with the legs usually they are one of the primary karma indriyas so similarly the shudras were general assistants and just uh, for executing various activities and this is not mean mean that they were worthless no even the legs have worth to do things and in those people who don't have legs they realize how important the legs actually are similarly every varna has the worth and it is that worth according to one's worth that people are given engagement but unfortunately when things became stratified things became too rigid based on just uh, birth considerations then the worth considerations were uh, subordinated and they were suppressed worth was suppressed and that is unfortunate so even today uh, we uh, in every organization that we see there is the attempt to engage people according to their talents because that is the way they can they can be the most satisfied and they can contribute the most effectively and that is what is being encouraged in this system of varna ashram so the bhagavad gita talks about varna according to guna karma not according to janma and in this way 
it ensures that there is engagement of people according to their worth and the uh, all people are ultimately worthy of uh, attaining life's highest destination and that is pure love for God and liberation from this world. So that is the ultimate destination and that everybody can attain. That's why the Bhagavad Gita in 9.32 states that even those who are from lower varnas, Mami Partha Vyapa Shritya Yepisyu Papa Yonaya Striyo Vaishyastha Shudra Stepiyanti Paramgate Tepiyanti that even those who are Shvaishya and Sudras, they will also attain the supreme destination. And in this way, actually one moves onwards. Everybody contributes according to their worth and when people contribute according to their worth, their contributions are optimal and society also prospers by that way. So we, uh, certainly today's caste by birth system is unfortunate. It has been exploited to you and certainly it is not something which is to be encouraged or perpetuated. But we don't have to throw the baby out with the dirty water. We don't have to reject the whole principle of Varna Ashram, but we have to adapt it according to time, place, circumstance in today's situation so that people can be engaged according to their worth in a, in a way that is satisfying for themselves and is harmonious uh, for optimal social contribution. Thank you. Hooray.